Hi, welcome to another section on OLASA tutorial. Today we are going to discuss about API security testing using OLASA. So go for this session. These are the steps need to follow in order to perform the security testing. Step one is set the proxy in SAP. For that, go to the tools and take the options. And in that options, you can go to the network tab and take the local servers and proxies, set the address as localhost and set the port number as 8081 and click on OK. So the proxy setup on SAP is completed. Then step two is set proxy in Postman. For that, go to the Postman and take the menu and file settings proxy and enable the use custom proxy configuration and set the proxy address as localhost and port number as 8081 which we set the same port number on SAP so the proxy setup on Postman also completed then the step 3 is trigger the API on Postman once API send the request it will capture over the SAP then the third step is completed then the fourth step perform the spider ring action on the captured data that means the folder we get it on the site tree and by clicking on right click and attack and spider start scan so the spidering action will be take place on step 4 after completing spidering action go to the step 5 perform the active scan by clicking the site tree attack and active scan then start the scan after complete the active scan, we can generate the report by clicking on report and generate report. So the report we can give to the project manager. So I will demonstrate on SAP. So we can go to the SAP and here I take a new session. And first of all, we need to set the proxy on SAP. So to go to options. Then take the network, open local servers and proxy. Here I set the address as localhost and port number as 8081 and click on OK. So the proxy setup on SAP is completed. Then take the Postman and go to the menu, left side menu, file, settings, and here you can go to the proxy tab. And enable the add a custom proxy configuration. Here I give the proxy server value as localhost and port number as 8081, which same port number I had given on SAP 8081. Okay, then close this pop up settings. And I here, here I take a one API for testing, and it is a get request. Just run, just before we can check where inside tree there is no data is there so just trigger the api now so the response is getting 200 status so go to the sap yes there the inside tree we can see the api get it reflected or captured so by clicking on the api get object you can get the request okay this is the request get request we have sent and the response we can see the response of the api okay so we successfully captured the api over sap because of the sap so the next step is spidering action for that right click on the folder side tree and on attack and perform the spider spider and start scan so you can see the spider tab the spidering action is completed so after spidering completed we need to perform the active scan right so for that i'll click on the root folder and the attack 
and perform the active scan and perform click on default i choose the default policy and start scan so the active scan will be started you can see it is in progress so progress bar we can see the actions are performed okay so it is in progress after completing the active scan you can download the alert if there is any alert getting generated this is a testing api so the vulnerability may not be available for this api now we can check it after completing the active scan we can check the alert this is the process we need to follow wait yes now it's completed so go to the alert tab you can see the issues alert getting reflected so by expanding the main result and you can get the, the result so here it's a testing api so there is no how much vulnerability is not available so we can uh, generate the report for that go to the report and click on generate report and choose the template i have to, here we can choose any of the template available html xml i choose additional pdf report and filter all the high medium low information or i picked by default so i go with that and the scope in scope you can change the report title and the name i go with the default one and uh, click on generate button now the report will be generated yes you can see the result and the hyperity zero only informational one is highlighted and you can go each and every one each and every point go to it suppose if any high high or medium is there you can see the description and the solution suggested by sap so okay then coming to the presentation this we all covered the how to perform the security of a api rust api so hope hope you enjoy this section if you like my section please like and subscribe and see you in another section of sap Till then, bye, thank you, and happy learning.